All right, folks who may or may not be watching us on YouTube, welcome to another video. We have quite an interesting one here for you today. So for those of you who may have been living under a rock the past couple of weeks, World Souls Rage is uh, all the rage in standard these days. And the kind of the goal of the most of the decks that feature World Souls Rage are Teamer. They have more, they have some self mill, Falaji Archaeologist, Memory Deluge to go ahead and, and you can mill over and cast from the graveyard. Um, but, you know, I guess what I would say about the Teamer decks is they struggle a little bit because they require, like, they have some specific mana requirements, like you need green on two, double blue on four, sometimes you need red on three. So the mana can be a little sketchy with. You know, because the way that the deck is constructed, you can only play basic lands and sack lands because you're in a teamer or excuse me, an aftermath analyst deck. So what if we just cut the blue from the deck, smooth the mana base and play different payoffs, which is what you see in front of you here. This is gruel analyst. So we've basically cut the deluges for beanstalks as our sort of card advantage engine where, you know, if you're casting World Souls Rage, we have Awaken the Woods. These both count for Beanstalk if you cast them for five or more mana. You have Nissa, Virtue of Strength, and One Titan of Industry. So you have a bunch of ways to trigger Beanstalk. You still have the Analyst Nissa stuff, and then your, your Sweeper of Choice is into the fire instead of Ill-Timed Explosion. Now, I don't know if this is necessarily the best approach, but I saw a list. It looked pretty interesting. I wanted to give it a shot. Um, the other kind of downside to cutting blue is you lose some counter spells in the sideboard, which honestly, that might be the biggest loss for me, but we've kind of sort of, I guess, shored that up with some like more mid rangey type threats in the sideboard. We have a Sentinel of Lost Lore, uh, for the grindy matchups, a Song of Totentans, the fourth copy of World Souls Rage, a couple of braids, a couple of bolts, just for your generic removal spells, sweepers for Convoke, and then a Stone Brain for, you know, like domain combo decks, things like that. Mirror match, I guess. Um, but yeah, before we continue, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to check out the sponsors. This video is brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc., Moxfield, and Heavy Play. Those little links that you see up there, links will be in the description below. You can go ahead and check out their websites. And uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, again, thank you for supporting the stream. The best way to support the content is with a Prime sub. It is free, and it gains you access to some ad-free viewing and a plethora of amazing emotes. So uh, with all of that said, let's uh, let's play some analyst, shall we? That uh, that sounds about right. Mm, I guess we keep both analysts. Sure. Spyglass Shiren. Uh, for like a Montagna. Actually, no, I think I want another forest. I want to make sure I have double green. Story of the year. What song? The only song. So you mean rooftops, right? Any lands? Of course not. This is uh, this has not gone well so far. This has not been a very good showing. This is going about as bad as humanly possible. And I think I could fly. Okay, 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 okay. Hold. Hold. Bang. Fucking taste it. Just take that one damage. So, four lands in the graveyard now. Cuatro. Bro, come on. The end? Why? Why me? <clears throat> The end, more like the end of the stream. I feel like people who play Demir just put cards in their deck at random. You know, they just they just kind of pick the cards that look the nicest. And now I have to main phase the analyst. 
So they have Tidebinder. Talk to me about this emote. What do we call it? Uh, Doom Pog. Can we get a Can we get a Doom a Doom Pog or Doom Shake? Sorry. Any Doom Shakers in chat? Who up shaking they Doom? That sounded kind of weird. All right, I have mana. I will deploy mana. Erthai. Erthai. Ooh, that's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, run it back. Run it back. I think you did that in the wrong order, buddy. I think you uh I think you missed I think you did that one wrong. <laughs> I think I think they messed that one up. Um, I could loot away the two lands, which is probably fine cuz I have no analysts left, right? Yeah, I but I could also kill the Tidebinder. Maybe it's just better to play this, kill the Tidebinder, just hope to draw any X spell. I think I'm going to do that. <clears throat> kind of sucks that this is a 3-3 three, because three, I can't kill that. Are the utility lands that this deck could play to get value through counter spells? Define utility lands. The issue with utility lands is the way that your mana base is constructed, you have 12 of these sacrifice lands, and you need to make sure you have enough basic lands to support those. So, like, the only way that you could play utility lands is if you, like, you would kind of have to... Um, you'd kind of have to just add more cards to your deck. Like, when CFT Sock played 68, you would have to do something like that, which maybe that's fine. It just... It just, like, gives them less pressure. This is creature or land. So, do I just get back Analyst? No, because if I cast the Enchant in half, they just counter it, so I might as well get my draw two out of it. Yeah. I mean, they're going to counter it either way, but I just want to draw the cards. Sure. So we draw three. Uno, dos, tres. Mm. You can only rage for one here. We're going to go pretty low. It's a little scary. Do I resign playing Demir? No, I just don't play it on stream because I don't have any, I don't have any updates to the deck. So I don't, you know, like the deck just kind of is what it is. There's not really a ton to change. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to play it, because I, I still have two RCQs this weekend that I'm playing with Debeer. But just not a ton of reason to play it on stream. I, I'm trying to play some different decks, you know? Like, if I just sat here for six hours and played Demir, nobody would want to watch it. I guess some people would, but... I lost in top eight of the RCQ. I lost to blue-white soldiers, of all things. Yo, Cogwork Wrestler, one mana, one, two, flash. ETB, target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus so. The, the mad lad did it. Just what an absolute chat. This is, isn't this an emote on somebody's stream? It's a good emote. Any, who up uh, wrestling day Cogworks? 10, 11 mana. I played Demir. This sucks. Uh, I think I'm dead. I mean, I guess I have to kill one of the flyers, draw to get back three of these lands. <laughs> All right, I'll pay. They get to sus pack to one of their creatures. Uh, one, two, three. Done. So we go to nine. K 
can't quite kill them next turn. We can get pretty close. This play is around them drawing a creature. <clears throat> like, I can awaken the woods for one, but that doesn't do anything, right? I guess it, uh, it gives me a chump blocker. Yeah, but I think I have to do it for more next turn. That's kind of where I'm at. Them not drawing a creature is really good for me. Because that means as long as I can produce blockers, I'm not dead to just the Siren next turn. Now, granted, they could have drawn a flyer, but there's not much I can do about that. So how much do we awaken for? That's the question. Like, how much mana do I want to leave over? Because the plan is just make a bunch of dudes and then kill them with Nissa next turn. Everything but two. Maybe it should be everything but four to pay for Make Disappear Casualty. Which would be 9, 14, 14 minus 4 is 10. This would be X equals 8. I mean, surely that's enough, right? And that lets me pay for Make Disappear Casualty. I think I like that. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I mean, this is more than enough to kill with Nissalt. I do die if they found a flyer, right? If they just drew, like, a Fairy Mastermind or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that I don't die to. That I certainly don't die to. Uh, any reason to cast a Virtue this turn? I guess any reason not to? I don't care if they counter it. Might have been better to get back... Um... Oh yeah, I can just play the Nissa this turn. It might have been better to get back the Analyst just to gain a bunch of life. Okay, that doesn't matter. That also doesn't matter. Yeah, they're just dead, right? What sets are standard legal? The last three years. Whatever that equates to. It goes all the way back to Innistrad block. <laughs> yeah, the answer is too many. All right, double here, single here, take three, kill you. <clears throat> yeah, midnight hunt is the midnight hunt is the the earliest, or I guess the latest in this case. Done. Okay. <laughs> I was confused. Why did it only ask me? Usually. That's not usually the template that pops up, right? Usually it asks you for more than that. Like, it pulls up the whole mana cost. It just looked weird. It looks new. Yeah. Oh, is it because I'm at two? No, because... Oh, right, I can't pay four. I gotcha. Because I, I, I can't pay four because I'm at two. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, I'll buy that. That makes sense. That was sick. <laughs> I mean, I thought we were losing that game the entire time, and then... You know, we just survived long enough to cast Awaken the Woods, Untap, and Nissa. That was kind of sick. I was kind of, I didn't really understand the Nissa Awaken stuff at first, but now that I'm playing with it, it makes a lot more sense. This is sick. Uh, what do you want against Blue Black? I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe Barrage. Yeah, the lands really help that game. That was a multi five. Braid kills Schooner. Could be relevant. Also kills Cogwork Rustler. We gotta be able to kill that thing. Just like generic mid-range cards, maybe? I have a lot of stuff I could bring in. Into the Fire didn't seem that great against them. Because they're playing it they're playing at instant speed a lot of the time, and they have uh, Schooner, which Into the Fire is not great against. This might be too much removal. I don't know if I need the Abrades. Um, hmm. I can maybe trim like one Nissa, one Awaken. I can think of Braid over Barrage. I guess because a Braid kills Schooner. And then we just do one of these, one of these. <laughs> it's true. Into the Fire does kill Cogwork. <laughs> Gotta be able to kill the Cogwork Wrestler. Exchanging of words. What a banger. Banger alert. That is a good point. Into the Fire would have been a little bit better that game 
if they didn't make a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, I need I didn't have time to do it this weekend. But I need to figure that out at some point. Maybe I should have kept his hand. It's a bit sketch. Yeah, I just didn't I, I was so busy this weekend with RCQs and I had stuff to do when I got back that I just I just did not have time this weekend. Dismal Backwater. What's up, Engineer? Oh, okay. Well, I guess if that's the if that's what's gonna happen, then I I gotta tell you, I'm not missing a land drop this game. No chance I'm missing a land drop. Oh, I'm killing that. Do we awaken for two? The answer is now yes. I wasn't going to, but now that I've drawn a second one, I don't mind it. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you get? Did you see the video? For those of you who don't know, the one James and I recently did a video where uh, he showed me some old school, well, some old school, some new school Yu-Gi-Oh archetypes, and had me rank them uh, based on playability. It was a really fun video. You guys should go check it out. I had a link to it earlier. I could probably still, I can probably go find the link. But yeah, definitely go check it out. That was a lot of fun. And it seemed like a lot of the people in the comments were pretty happy that I was on, so maybe I'll try and do another video soon-ish. I'll link it in chat for those of you who didn't see it. The sense of rationality. I will pay two life. I will make a creature. I guess they could have bitter triumph. Triumph would kind of suck, but... If they don't have Triumph, they're dead. Alright, cool. That was fun. <laughs> Sick. Ooh. Keep this. Uh, give me red mana. Give me red mana, please. I need red. Hmm. So I think we. Um, what if I save the virtue for when they kill Nessa? That might be a little bit better. Yeah, let's save the virtue. I was thinking about casting virtue for the land there, but it's just kind of stupid to do that. I know Nessa's gonna die, but I don't mind that much. Nah, you don't need Splendid Wreck. So, the thing about Splendid Wreck is it being a sorcery means that you can't hit it off of Nyssa. And you don't really need the redundancy on Splendid Wreck because you have... Uh, what, what was I going to say? Because you have World Soul's Rage. So, what's nice about World Soul's Rage and now Awaken the Woods, which is a card the Teamer version didn't have. But, like, the nice thing about Rage and Woods is you can just do them for, like two or three to have a small ramp and that kind of bridges you into the big ramp turns so you don't need to max out on splendid rex like just having like this turn for example i'm just gonna rage put some lands into play and that's you know maybe good enough i think this is kind of the perfect example of that yeah pioneers the next rcq season i really do kind of have to kill liliana right yeah, so x equals 3. Kind of sucks because I don't have much left over. Like, I just have this analyst. But it's okay. Tanya. Tanya. Maybe I should have I mean, killed the Kaido? I'm not sure. It's kind of close. Because now Analyst gets back three, but we don't really have a payoff after Analyst. If I draw a land, I have enough mana to go Virtue into Analyst Sack, which is nice.
Well then, that is certainly interesting. Five, eight. I mean, I think I just want to go Virtue Pass. Yeah. Well, I, hmm. If I Analyst, let's assume that I hit no lands off of Analyst, right? Let's say I just have these three. I know that's not likely. Next turn, I'll have 5, 8, 11. 11 minus 7 is 4, and then I could Awaken for 10, which is still probably good enough, right? Yeah, okay. I'll buy that. I was thinking about just Virtue into Awaken, so now I can do it for 12. Yeah, this is fine, I think. <clears throat> I don't know, though. Resolving the Virtue is so nice there. While well, they're tapped out. I could even maybe go Virtue Analyst and just don't care if they kill it. You know? Like, sure, they could kill it, but... It's kind of whatever if they do. Watch them have Tidebinder. Yeah, that would have been funny if they had Tidebinder. Most Demir decks don't play main deck Tidebinder. I know I did this weekend, but most don't. Sure. See, now they probably have a counter spell up, which is kind of. That's why it's a little sketchy. No righteous sound. Power on Shelly. Kept Siren on top? Interesting. Ooh, it's a little awkward against Shelly. I have 12 mana. I'm not sure I want to play Beanstalk first. I don't think I do, right? Because that has me taking 4 more damage off Shelly. I think I'm just going to cast Virtue. See what they do. We can pay for Make Disappear Sack. Because we have 5 mana left over. And they only have one blue. Okay, see, this is fine. I'll just pay. And then probably just pass. Don't even cast Beanstalk here. Because I'm going to be on the hook for... They don't have a Restless Reef. So I'm taking 7, going to 11. Then 2, going to 9. Yeah, I just don't cast Beanstalk here. Because that's 4 more damage, right? 2 off the Beanstalk, 2 off this. Which has me going to five, and that's a little sketchy. Sure. I mean, I think just Awaken is good enough by itself. You can draw your entire deck. Maybe not literally your entire deck, because they could have Duress main deck. <laughs> well, uh, how much mana do I have? 36 mana. So I want to leave 4. So I want to do X equals 30, right? Hmm. Now it, oh man, do, am I supposed to cast these beanstalks? I, no, I don't think so, right? It's just too much damage. Maybe I can cast one, right? Like if I cast one, I go to seven, awaken, go to five. Oh, then I just die, right? Yeah, then I go to five, I take three, go to two, then I die. So I can't even cast it. I cannot even cast a single one. So, yeah, we just have to do... I'm going to leave the forest untapped. We have to do X equals 30. Yeah. Cast it after Awaken. Maybe. So now if I cast one... I go to seven, take three, go to four, then draw step, I go to two. But then if I draw Nissa, I can't kill them, right? Because I'm at two and I can't cast a Nissa. I think I just have to hold. Yeah, I'm just I have to hold, I think. 
I need to leave myself the out of drawing Nissa. <clears throat> because weirdly enough, this is not lethal. <laughs> I know I have 30 tokens in play, but it's not lethal. They're at 33. <laughs> so, you know. I think that kills me, right? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, the mastermind kills me. Damn. They can double activate. That's tough. All right, GG's. We lose the race. Um, It depends on what I drew, right? Tatiova, Steward of Tides. I'm not familiar with that card. GGU, 3-3, three, three, land creatures you control are flying. Whenever I land ATBs, if you control seven or more. Um, nah, probably too cute. Uh, we ended up going two and three with Merfolk, which is not, you know, not ideal. It didn't feel quite as good as uh, Pirates are. Blue-black again, but they didn't show us Schooner, so I don't know if I want to bring in the Abrades. What did we cut last time against Blue-black? Yeah, Pirates confirm better than Merfolk. What if I just didn't sideboard? I wish we had Veil of Summer in Standard. It is kind of funny with the, with the, yeah, with the X-Spell. Does it give them haste? Oh, it does give them haste. I didn't realize that. That could be better than I thought it is. Maybe I should cut the beans against Shelly and Fairy Mastermind. Feels really weird to cut beans. Let's try it. Let's see how this goes. Let's go to a braid. Song. Titania. I want to try cutting the beanstalks. It's just too bad against Mastermind and Shieldred. I think a braid's better than barrage because instant speed is very important against specifically mastermind. Because the issue that I could see happening with barrage is like, you know, they play mastermind, you can't kill it at instant speed, you untap, you cast your barrage, but then they just activate the mastermind in response. And that's like that lineup is kind of awkward. Yeah, Gix too. Okay, my hand doesn't care about that too much. I mean they just take a braid, but or not. I'm shocked they didn't take a braid. <clears throat> Why would they take World Souls Rage when I have two lands in hand? <laughs> they just have nothing? Okay. Well, I didn't draw land. For one or more ninja or rogue creatures, you control deal combat damage to a player. Create a treasure token. Alright, kill it. <laughs> what are we doing with that card? People are cooking over here, folks. This is just the professional cooking stream. Alright, inshallah, I will draw land. I know I kind of want to gain four life off Shelly, but I also want to play around Tidebinder. Main deck Titanias? Possibly, yeah. I thought about it. Because you do trigger Titania quite a bit with this deck, especially with, like, you know, Analyst. Analyst kind of does double duty with that. Hmm. Sure. I'll take four. Is it rat's time? I wonder if it's rat time. Spyglass Shiren. Mapping on to Shelly. Interesting. Okay, can I do everything? I feel like I should be able to do everything this turn. So six, nine, Nissa down to three, hideout plus two up to five, analyst down to one, get back four, get back four lands. So one plus eight is nine mana. And then I can rage. Yep, I can do everything I want. Okay. <laughs> this turn is going to be disgusting. Uh, red. This turn's about to go breezy. Green. 
Uh, yeah, sack this. Three goods. Green, red, green, red. Just... I guess we're almost out of World Souls Rage targets. Or not World Souls Rage, but we're almost out of fetch targets. I should be getting mountains with these, because the other ones can't like the other the other the other fetch land can't find forest. So we have to go rage for six, right? Rage for six. Wait, can I just kill them? Five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Rage for ten, they go to ten. Then I can make I can make seven rats. So I deal them 10, they go to 10, 7 rats, they have 2 blockers, block, block, a rat, they take 6, they go to 4. Does that math sound right? Yeah, that's a good plan. I probably have to kill the Shelly. 6. 2, 3, 4. Wait, I mean, this is probably still good enough, right? Yeah, we have exactly enough to search. Do, 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 do. I mean, I'm just gonna send all the rats this turn, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna song for eleven. They can only profitably block one of them. Yeah, song for eleven. <laughs> was that a good turn? Can somebody in chat tell me if that was a good turn? It was okay. I've seen I've seen worse. What's the command to float all the mana? QQ. You just don't you just type QQ. Yeah, it certainly was not it certainly was not a bad turn. Alright, cool. Good game. I kind of like the the plan without without up the beanstalk, just because it's so bad against Shelly. I kind of want this fourth rage though. What should we cut for the fourth rage? You think Nissa should not have attacked there? Why? I had a second one in my hand. If they trade Nissa for Gix, like who cares? That's what it's like to block Gix. I'd rather just attack. I could cut. Yeah, I could cut a Nissa for the fourth rage. What I like about Rage is it's a payoff, but it's also just a removal spell. Like, this card is so perfect in this deck because you can just cast it on turn 5 to kill a creature and ramp 3 times, which is just more than good enough. And then it's also just your endgame, too. Rage is, like, the perfect card for this deck. And again, it's part of the reason why you don't have to play cards like Splendid Wreck. You know, where, like, you would imagine or, or you could envision a scenario where the way your deck is constructed that you would want more more types of that effect, which you, that's not necessarily false, but you just don't need it because Rage kind of accomplishes the same thing. I didn't, Kebby. Uh, I have the, I will tell you this, I have the event ready to go on Melee. I just need to finalize like one or two things and uh, it should be announced within the next couple of days. Oh, we got a raid from Corey. I don't know why my alerts aren't working. Alert box, hello? Why is my alerts not working? Alert box. What's going on here? Why are you not working, alert box? Dude, Twitch is so weird sometimes. Corey, thank you very, very much for the raid. Welcome, everybody, from Corey's stream. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's like lag. It's like 30 seconds behind. I see. There's the alert. Corey BMTG, thank you very, very much for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome, everybody, from Corey's stream. I think we're getting ninja here, folks. Oh, yeah, we are. Just get absolutely ninja on. They typed oops. What do you think they did wrong? I think they misclicked. 
Corey, thank you again so much for the read. I appreciate that. Folks, if you're new here, do me a big, big favor. Go ahead and hit that follow button. Would greatly, greatly appreciate that. It does help out the stream quite a bit. And if you are fe if you're feeling so inclined and would like to help support the stream a little bit more, you can subscribe to the channel for free with a Twitch Prime or with a tier one, two, or three subscription. And it does give you access to ad-free viewing on the channel, as well as access to some amazing, amazing emotes. Yes, and on that note, any primers? Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe they meant to replay the one drop. Opponent has selected my Into the Fire. I wanted to send them Into the Fire, though. Yeah, when people start playing Elishnord against this deck, that would be uh, very unfortunate. All right, second Into the Fire. Never lucky. But my dream... I got three lands in the graveyard for Analyst, which is not too bad. Need to find some removal, though. They're on two lands. I think I'm just going to make this trade. Yeah, I'm just going to make this trade. I don't need the Nissa. Like, sure, it's good with Analyst, but I really don't need it that much. And if I don't trade and they kill my Analyst, it's pretty bad. Okay. Now that I know about that, I'm going to snap Analyst. I don't think they can keep that. Truly a braid anyways. So we just main phase the analyst to play around Tishana's. Drawing a braid is kind of sick too. Should have attacked. Minus one damage. I'm just going to get two red, I think. Because Awaken makes forest for Nissa. And I want to make sure I have enough red. I need at least two red, right, to go abrade this plus guest into the fire. So I have eight total mana. Um, perhaps I awaken, leaving two untapped with the intention of abrading the bat. Four, five, eight. So awaken for four. I mean, the funny thing is, is all three of these are face up, so they know what's going on. Like, they they, they know that I have, you know, the kill, essentially. Let's do X equals four. Because they don't know about the abrade. I mean, it's annoying if they counter this, but I'm not super worried about it. I'm just going to kill this now while they don't have blue mana untapped. Get this back. I don't mind casting the uh, Awaken there, because, you know, we have a second one, so it's whatever if they counter the first one. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. But they're potentially going to let me resolve this. Oh. So I could Awaken for six, or I could double into the fire. Spell Pierce gets me pretty bad. Hmm. Well, no, I don't think I would want to Nissa first, because I would want to Awaken the Woods and try to Nissa next turn for lethal. I think they have Spell Pierce. I mean, Double Into the Fire does play around Spell Pierce a little bit better. Yeah. I probably should Double Into the Fire. Okay, well, they didn't have Pierce, but it's fine. This play is still not that bad. I don't hate this play. <clears throat> clean up the board, make them commit more. I was kind of worried about that. Okay, well now we awaken. Awaken for six. And we can chump block Shelly, have five left over, and we can Nissa pay for Pierce with five creatures, and... 11 forest? I mean, it's more than enough. Okay, or we could do that. Uh, if they have negate, which one would I rather have them negate? Probably the rage. 
So we just rage for five. Six, nine. Yeah, I think we rage for five here. Because that also gains us three life. I'm going to rage for five. Honestly, if they counter this, I could also just play the Nissa, right? I have, I still have eight mana. Okay, they let it go. It's maybe worse if they brought in a sweeper. Wake up. Chat, wake up. Wake up. Now the question is, do we cast the Nissa? Six, eight. No, because I get got by Spell Pierce. I guess I'll attack. <laughs> oh. Okay, good thing I didn't go for Nissa, huh? <laughs> that would have been really bad. Although they could just have a second one of those. Which there's not a lot I can do about. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. Yeah, probably have a second one. We're also dead to, I think, what was this? This one blows up a dude, right? Oh, they discard my Nissa. Oh, that's worse. Fuck. Simply just draw another Nissa. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's not insane, right? Eight, twelve, so ten, fifteen. Am, am I really one point short? No, I'm one point short, right? Oh, God. That one attack. Oh, my God! No, this is the game that I forgot to attack with the one three. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like this. That it's that moment of realization. It was at that moment he knew that he fucked up. We got two timeouts. I can think about this. Yeah, so if I deal them, so 8, 12, 10. Maybe I leave one creature back to block the ninja. So I put them to two. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like putting them to two. Leave two back, they go to three. Yeah, okay, you're right. So x equals ten. <laughs> they can attack with hearse. No, I know that, but they need another creature to crew the hearse, right? Oh, they have Tidebinder, right. Okay, sure. They have Tidebinder. I'll leave two back. I like this song. It's kind of nice. Got that one point of damage that I missed. Remember when I said on turn two or turn three when I attacked? <laughs> sure. Then when I said that one point of damage was not going to matter. Oh, right. I forgot they could hearse now. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Well, this is much worse then. Uh, can I just not attack with anything? Well, the problem is they have a mastermind. So if I do this, they play Tidebinder Crew. Theoretically, I can block here, here. But then I die to a removal spell. This puts them to three. Attack with two. But two doesn't kill them next turn, right? Although I guess they are dead to most cards that I could... T like, most big cards anyways. Nissa, World Souls, Rage, both kill them. Yeah, I mean, realistically, I'm not killing them with just combat damage, right? Unless I draw some kind of, like, big payoff card. God, that one point of damage, man. Oh, that's gonna haunt me for the rest of my... You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. When I go to sleep, I'm gonna have nightmares about that one point of damage that I missed. This thing doesn't have trample, does it? Okay. No reason to not attack with two. 
What is the reason to attack with two though? Like it doesn't really change that much. Doesn't it doesn't change my outs. Okay, well. <laughs> never pun never punished, by the way. Never, ever, ever punished. You know, that one point of damage didn't matter. Didn't matter. The one point never comes up. Streamers like, you know how I get this lucky? It's because I, myself, am subscribed to twitch.tv slash doomwake. And you, too, can be this lucky. You can top deck that World Souls Rage just like me if you subscribe to twitch.tv slash doomwake. It is a known fact that doomwake subscribers have 25% uh, more luck to top deck the perfect card. They should have drawn two. How could they have drawn two? Oh, with Mastermind? Oh, right. Yeah, they could have drawn two with Mastermind. Oh, you know they're mad. I know they're mad. <clears throat> Say Yorgo. No, I'm not going to be like that. It's fine. I don't stoop to their level. <laughs> they're breaking their keyboard. Yeah, their keyboard is out of the window. What they did is they took their keyboard and they, like inserted it into their cpu i got to the anti or the, i guess the the big the the big boss blind that you can't uh you can only play one hand type and i forgot about that so i played my high card with dna blueprint and then i went to play my you know five of a kind and it was like hand will not score and then i realized at that moment it was all over <sighs> was rough because that that run was so good too it was like it was such a sick run ah god it was it was disheartening that was a tough one that was probably the worst one that i've had so far we got to anti 12 i got to anti 13 today uh i had a run i kid you not so th it was a seated run to be fair I've, I've been learning about like seated runs and stuff and i've been looking stuff up and there's a seated run where you can open you open on a spectral pack that gives you a legendary joker, which is the joker that uh, gives you bonuses for playing kings and queens. And then the next ante, you have Ankh. So you go spectral pack, open that joker, and then spectral pack, open Ankh to copy it. And you just make like your entire deck kings and queens. And I got to ante 13, I think, with that deck, with that seed. It was a fucking wild one. Not gonna miss the one point of damage this game. I've learned that both DNA and Joker are just completely broken. Those are those have to be the two best jokers in the game. They're both like unbelievably broken. Blueprint is absurd. It's 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 nuts. You have five lands? That's pretty good. Uh, I don't think they play Tidebinder, but I also don't really want to find out if they do, so I'm just going to second now. <laughs> this matchup has to be a buy for us, right? This has to be the freest possible matchup. Yeah, the game that we're talking about is Bellatro. You should look it up. It's very, very fun. I played for like four hours straight yesterday. It's I, I'm addicted. It's so much fun. I mean... Do we just, like, awaken and say, if you have Sunfall, fine. We'll just, you know, trade our turns, and if they don't have Sunfall, they die. We do anything else? We can go, like, Nissa Rage. 6, 9. So 9 minus 3 is 6. We can Rage for 4, which is 8 mana. I guess we can go Nissa Rage into Nissa. 
make a token, which is slightly better against Sunfall. And then we would still have lethal, right? Because we would have 9, 12, plus 12. Is, we'd have 24 damage next turn. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. That saves the Awaken. Nissa, Rage, Awaken, Nissa, hold up Nissa. Nissa, Rage, Awaken, Nissa. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that Awaken triggers Nissa as well. We could maybe do that, yeah. I forgot that Awaken makes Forest, which also triggered Nissa. This deck is so gas. It's super sick. So yeah, we have eight mana right now. So I could go Awaken. Oh wait, now we could just Analyst, right? There's really no reason to, though. Yeah, there's really no reason to Analyst here. I could go Awaken for six, make six mana off Nyssa. But what does that accomplish, right? Like, what is... I, I guess I could play Nyssa for six mana, but then it comes into play with five loyalty, and then I can't ult it next turn. I want to basically force them to have the Wrath. You know what I mean? I think I like this better. Sulking Assassin with the two gifted subs. Folks, if you didn't get one, dodge and chat. It's as easy as that. Thank you for the two gifted subs. I greatly appreciate that, Sulking. Dread it. Run from it. Alignment always arrives. The alignment never will the the alignment never goes away. Do Francisco JR says someone please give me a sub. Any gifters? Any gifters for our our uh, our friend Francisco? Uh okay, you're dead on board. Do you know what Nissa does? Do you know what Nissa does? I am going to kill you. Soul King Assassin with another gifted sub to Do Francisco. Thank you for the gifted sub, Soul King. Appreciate that. It's very, very nice of you. We're approaching a hype train. Thanks again for the gifted, Soul King. We need emote. Look, I know they're dead, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna deal them as like as much damage as I possibly can. I'm actually gonna ult this Nissa and then ult the other Nissa. This is like advanced BM. I don't need to do this, but I want to, you know? If this is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Kind of thing. Am I BMing? Awaken for 30. Oh yeah, I can do that too, right? Oh, right, because the Awakens are for us. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Right, I see. So, 19, Awaken for 17. <laughs> okay. To the woods. It is time to go to the woods. To the woods with everybody. If so, man, if only we had Song of Totensaws to give these to give the forest dry a taste. That's what I'm saying. All right, minus seven. <laughs> minus seven. All right, attack you with a sixty-six, sixty-six, and a sixty-one, sixty-one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Minus one thirteen, by the way. You know. Average. Minus 113. <clears throat> Play Lands Quest Complete. More like trigger Nissa 500 times in a turn quest complete. She awakening my woods until I get plus 60, plus 60. Alright, do we even have to sideboard against this deck? Like, I guess Song is good. Brain, Rage, Frill. Cut these. 
You could probably trim one beanstalk. Yeah, I don't know that either. I'm kind of confused as to why the fourth rage is in the board. I don't really get that. Like, what matchup do you not want the fourth rage? I guess the heavy counterspell decks? Is that the, is that the idea? Sand's a little slow, but I'm going to keep it. That's a good point. I guess that is that is a very valid point, where, like, maybe you don't want the second the second World Souls against the aggressive decks, because you usually will never need the second one. I could see that. Six mana Chandra. Mm, oh, to copy? Okay, okay. What would you play the six mana Chandra over, though? You know? I don't hate that idea, though. That is a really cool idea. I'm just not sure what you'd cut. Yeah, that's mildly annoying. Awaken's good against Hearst, though. I should have thinned my deck first. Yeah, this is going to slow us down a little bit. It's not like we can't beat it, but it is going to slow us down a little bit. Yeah, Chandra does copy the X. Any beans enjoyers? This song is gas. <coughs> Can we get some 07s, chat for the Rev? Let's get some 07s for the Rev. Ooh. We can... Hmm. Can rage for two, so we can cast Nissa next turn. Is that good? Maybe it's better to awaken first. Awaken for two. And then we just slam big Nissa. Yeah, let's awaken for two. Yeah, the rev the rev is like there's nobody like the rev, and honestly, there will never be anybody like the rev. I think I watched those exact same videos, Man Leggings. He was so good. Like, the way that he fused so many different genres into his drumming styles. Oh. Uh, that's bad. Well, less bad now. Hmm. Do we just Virtue and hope they don't have Binding? So fucking bad if they have binding though. <laughs> oh god, dude. Wait, can I just kill the Elishnorn? Oh no, I don't have nine mana, I have five. Well, see the thing is, if I play Nissa, it's still bad if they have binding. Right? If I if I go land Nissa, they just go binding Nissa. I guess then I can virtue next turn. I'm just gonna cast this. They don't have it. Yeah, Yellowstone is really good against this deck. I don't believe they have it. Nah, they don't have it. I don't believe it. I don't give a shit about that. Unless they also have Binding. Double Invasion Trigger is kind of nice. Yellowstone is sick of their deck, obviously. Ah, <sighs> shit. Yeah, that question, I had that question come up the other day. How was it? Yeah, for people in chat that don't know, if you rage kill Elishnorn, the lands that come into play don't have, don't trigger because Elishnorn is still in play due to state-based effects. Yeah, I guess we can go Nissa down to kill Binding. It's probably okay. Oh, I can leave a blocker back, too, which is nice. I need Nissa. Oh, I see what you're saying. I gotcha. So, one, two, three, four, five. Then I'd have nine mana left over. Yeah. I can go Tiny Nissa, kill Binding, then also have nine mana to kill Elishnorn. It's pretty good, right? 
Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'll buy that. Because we even have second Nissa, too. A little teeny Nissa. Small Nissa. Minus one. Kill this. Unfortunately, we don't get a Beanstalk trigger. Off of the ETB. But we will get the Beanstalk trigger when we cast the, the Rage. Draw two. No reason to put these lands into play because they don't trigger with Elishnorin. Kind of sucks that that's how that works, but it is what it is. Could put this one into play. Rude. It's okay. We have another Nissa. I, I I still think we can't lose this game. Like, how many Elish Nords do you think they have? They probably don't have that many, right? Yeah, we have Titan and Nissa. Like, this is totally fine. We can do the exact same thing next turn, where we go small Nissa, kill Binding, and then Rage for a million. Yeah, I'm not sure we can lose this game. We're getting to the point where we can, like, we can almost one-shot them. I guess they're they're kind of high, though, so not quite. Where we go, like, Nissa down tick, have enough mana to kill them with Rage in one shot. Yeah, this has to be their worst possible matchup. <laughs> I mean, they had turn 5 Elishnorn, and it's, like, not even close to good enough. Yeah, turn 5 Elishnorn double binding, and we're still miles ahead, you know? Bear of the Dark. It's a lot of stomping. Oh, they do be stomping. Oh, that's not good. They have Hearst. Never mind. Mm, okay, so four, seven, nine. We can go Nissa. So four, seven, nine, right? 9 minus 5 is 4, times 3 is 12. Nissa kill binding, 12 mana left over. And then we go Titan, pop, hearse, make a 4-4. Four, four. And then play Analyst. Yeah, we can kind of do it all, right? All right, let's go here. Let's do this. slow down the Nissa. I don't think it matters, because they're just going to die to Rage next turn. Pop this. Have I played a land yet? I don't think I have, right? I want to float all the mana first. Four, eight. Yeah, let's tighten here. One up Rob Evil Titan. That card is not legal and standard. Imagine if it was. So the one thing I have to be careful of is Jace. These decks sometimes have Jace. It's the only thing that I really care about is Jace. I'm on 33 cards right now. Which should be enough. <clears throat> So I have eight mana left over. I can go Nissa five floating, rage for three, put three fetch lands into play. I kind of want to save the rage though. What if I just put a bunch of shit into play? Yeah, this is fine. I'm just going to play my whole hand. They only have one blue. Well, they have one blue currently. I'm sure they have more blue bait in their deck, right? No, I don't need to awaken for three. I'm just I'm just gonna chill. Oh, next turn, sure. Well they cycled the blue source. So this is Wrath. I think I need this analyst. I mean, honestly. Wait no. You go here. And ask about pirate fish well we can't we can't merge the decks you know we can't we can't have too much of a good thing also i don't think fish can wear eye patches all right you're dead how many counter spells does domain usually play like 
two negates in the sideboard. All right, you're dead. <laughs> Good game. Five, eight, nine, twenty-seven. Yeah, they're dead. That was fun. Like, look at their draw. I mean, they did mold the five, but they mold the five because they were trying to find Elishnorn. But they went Elishnorn into double binding, and also had Hearse. Like, they kind of had basically everything they could have ever wanted. And they still just got obliterated, you know? There's a song in the sideboard. Dun, 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 dun. Like, their draw was basically perfect. You know? This hand is particularly slow. I'm going to ship this. Okay, this is better. I mean, it needs third land, but it is better. Woods. <coughs> Woods. I have not paused nine now. Mono red. Good thing I kept into the fire. Are we a gambling? Do we gamble on this channel? But what if I draw a land next turn? All right, I won't gamble. Fine, I won't do it. See, I would have drawn. Oh, well, I actually would have milled the land of analysts. So I wouldn't have drawn that land. I was thinking about maybe playing Nissa last turn. Because now I'm in a weird spot where it's like, I can play Nissa, but I can't do anything with it. I can Beanstalk and try to high roll a land, I guess. Tricky spot, huh? Very, very tricky spot. If they don't have Lightning Strike or Frenzy, Nissa's not bad. But they probably do. They could also have the plus two plus oh. I think I'm going to try to draw land. Shit. All right, dead. Awaken the Woods isn't a real card. I don't know what I don't know what you mean by that. 30 lands by the way. Ah, uh, we tried. <clears throat> we tried. Also, only two lands in the graveyard. Surely I'm not dead this turn, right? Okay. Game two. I think this should be a good matchup, but draw just didn't come together game one. Uh, give me a braids. Give me Titania. Frill back. I'm going to cut most of my top end. So how much top end do we have left? Probably, honestly, still too much. Nine. Is there anything in my sideboard that I want to keep in? How can we fit the Argoth in here? Maybe you could play one over the 12th forest, but... I mean, the idea behind the mana base is that you just want as many fetchable lands off of the 12 fetch lands. You could you could maybe talk me into one. Just one. But probably not. Ultimately, I don't think it's worth it. What's this deck's bad matchups? Control. Control is an awful matchup for this deck, I think. Sixty one for a Titania land. <laughs> no, I've never I don't think I've melded a Titania in any format. I don't think I've ever had the pleasure of doing that. I know this hand does not have red mana, but it has two like reasonably good cards. It's a little risky. Did it one time. What happens when you melt Titania? Does the game just crash?
has died a fatal bush. That is true. Okay, red land acquired. Rude. Yeah, that's good. You escaped the simulation. It's like a say, escape from Tarkov style. Block. Bro, come on, man. <laughs> Don't waste my time with that attack, please. Uh, okay, let's go make green. Cast Frill back, double pay, gain four kill Forge. I mean, I really don't even care that much about Forge, but I guess... I guess I'll kill it. I'm kind of surprised that these the red players bring in Forge against me. It's like the third time they've done it against against this deck. I really... I don't think Forge is good against, against this matchup. You're kind of, like, playing the game that they want you to be playing. Like, the more you slow your deck down, the worse it is. Could be wrong. Why not Woods first? Oh, I guess Woods was free, wasn't it? Yeah, good point. Woods was free. I guess we can Woods now. Woods for four. And then we could try to hit Analyst. Yeah, we can Woods for four. I keep forgetting that Woods triggers Nissa. And we can go Beans Analyst. Alright, I mean, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. Uh, your turn. Ooh, ooh. Are they going to let me hold Nissa? No, they just conceded. Rude. Alright, game three. <clears throat> they bring in Forge every matchup. Well, it might be a thing where they're main decking Forge, but they just didn't board it out. Because a lot of red lists are main decking Forge now. Which I think is fine. Like, Forge is very good against Demir and Esper. But you just gotta learn, you gotta know when to side it out. It's not good in every matchup. Uh... This is kind of close, maybe? I'm on the draw. I have no removal, no sweeper, no red mana. I don't... I probably can't keep this, right? Yeah, I can't keep this. Okay, this is a little bit better. I mean, not really, but it is better enough, I guess. Keep this, put back... Nissa, And then try to play towards Virtue into Awaken. I guess. I was wondering, do you guys think that they'll ever print the other half of the SNC cycle lands? I guess we'd have to wait for a block that had the that had the other wedges. But I'm I was kind of wondering like why never why did they why they never printed the other half of the cycle? Because they just like didn't really have a good spot to do it in. But I've always wondered, you know. I've always wondered. I don't know if they're returning to Alara. But kind of to the point of uh, AKA Manchick, and if they ever give us the other half of these, then this deck is still, you know, more than playable. The SNC lands. Because we only got the we only got the first half. Although maybe it's like maybe there is no other half of the cycle because they're just unique to SNC. I don't know though. Like I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know, Otter. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I mean, like, we there are ten wedges. They have lands with five of the wedges. You would assume that that could be a cycle at some point, right? Like, you could infer that. They've never said anything about that, but... Well, 
Okay, then. Your draw is pretty good, huh? One of us is going. I'm at seven. So, under the assumption they have nothing. I can go Forest, Virtue Back, Analyst, Cast, Block, Take 5, Go to 2, Untap, Pop, Analyst. And I can't beat any spell anyways, so. I cannot beat any single spell. So they just won't have spells. If they have two lands, I think we win. That is not two lands. That was one land. Close. Almost two lands. One of us is going down. All right. Our first L of the day with this deck. You can't win them all, folks. I remember that deck. Tarkir in 2025. Yeah, I think by then, too much of the stuff will have rotated out already. Although it depends on when in 2025, I guess. Yeah, true. I mean, they didn't play a one-drop, I guess. But they kind of had everything else besides a one-drop. they're a pioneer version of this deck uh maybe there could be yeah i haven't really thought about it in pioneer but there probably could be i mean all these cards are pioneer legal i don't know what you would like i don't know what pi what would uh what you get in pioneer that you don't get in standard i guess evolving wilds if you wanted more fetch lands growth spiral if you wanted to play teamer still stuff like that I took Rage. All right, play Nissa. Nissa. <laughs> Banefire. I mean, Banefire is just worse than Rage. Because Rage is way better on, like, 4 and 5 mana. Even on 4 mana, Rage just kill your guy, make, you know, ramp myself twice. It's still pretty good. They, did, they chose not to kill Nissa. Maybe they couldn't kill Nissa. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to resolve my Nyssa, right? I would assume. Yeah, you get Fabled Passage and you get Evolving Wilds. Now, you don't need 20 fetch lands, right? Because you have to, you got to play enough basics to, to fetch off of those lands. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm just slamming this. Make a 4-4 four -four of its trades with Preacher. Seems like a good turn. You don't think Passage Wilds are actually good with Analyst Rage? They get double tapped. But does Rage... Oh, Rage puts them into play tapped, right? Oh, yeah, they're not good, right? Because you can't sack them the turn you Rage. Okay, sure. That's a good point. Yeah, so you probably wouldn't even play those. Grazer is good, though. Grazer is nuts. Like, turn one Grazer, turn two Nyssa. That sounds really messed up. Yeah, see, now we've baited them into using a Go for the Throat on a card they probably didn't want to use Go for the Throat on. Just let Nyssa take three. Lotus Cobra potentially two, yeah. So we should just Analyst here, right? Uh, I mean, I plus this first. I think I'm analysting. Yeah. Make green. I guess they can kill the analyst with the trigger on the stack if they have cut down. Yeah, the the the, the broken on map is still legal in Pioneer. Make six mana. I would like six mana, please and thank you. Green. <laughs> Alright, we go again. Red. They might just be dead this turn. 
with Lotus Field. That could be interesting, yeah. I could see that. I didn't think about Lotus Field. But it's kind of cool that you can, like, put the lands in the graveyard and then get them back with Analyst. That's kind of hot. Stu. Stu, what's up, Stu? Thank you for the three-month resub. Welcome back, Stu. Hope you're having a great day today. Appreciate the sub. Thank you for supporting the stream. Ruin Crab and Pioneer. Well, Ruin Crab, you can't target yourself. Yeah, unfortunately, Ruin Crab, you cannot target yourself. Why are they still playing? Eh, eh. All right, chat. I may have found my uh, my RSQ deck for this weekend. <laughs> this deck feels really broken. I still have to find Nissas though. Oh, I have to find these Nissas too. How expensive are the? How expensive are these Nissas? I own one. I really want to play this deck though. Three drop Nissas is actually not great in this archetype. Are you are you are you watching the stream with your monitor off? I'm confused. Are we are we watching the same game? Confused. I don't I, what are we talking about here? The upper end is great. Well, that's why you're playing it, you know? Like that is the whole point of playing it. <laughs> yeah, the three minute this is the best card in the deck. <clears throat> it's a liability most of the time. Uh I I don't know. I guess agree to disagree. I don't know. This is turn four, and I have fourteen lands in play. And I'm gonna cast fourteen mana worth of cards. Like if I didn't have this in my deck, I'd have like I I would have maybe six lands tops, you know? Why are you still playing this game, opponent? Oh, I should have done that, yeah. No, you're you're right, Composer. You do get a new trigger. You do get a new trigger. Because it's a separate instance of Nissa. I probably should have done that, actually. It works the way you want it to, though. <clears throat> Six forty seven. Oh, this Nissa? Okay, that's not bad. I mean these the resurgent animus is harder to get for sure. Oh sorry, I only have thirteen mana this turn. My bad. Uh alright, I'll play Virtue. But do you deploy a new Nissa, right? I think so. Like I don't know how they win. All right, what do we have? I don't know how to pronounce your username. Quarok Kadi Quara. I'm just gonna call you Quarok. Quarok, thank you so much for the three a month resub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for the three months. No, not my six six. Is it crocodile? Oh, I see. I get it now. Crocodile. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Is it lethal? 11, 12. It's only 15. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to draw cards. We'll figure it out. It's only 15, right? 9, 12. Yeah, it's 15. All right, I plus. Uh, go. Attack. Your turn. 
Why are they still playing? <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could... At this point, I guess I could brick on payoffs. It's not likely. I, in fact, did not brick on payoffs. 12, 16... All right, I would like to cast this for some number of mana. 25 sounds good. I don't know. That sounds good to me. Mm, 25 sounds about right. Oh, no, I have to put triggers on the stack. No, why did I do this? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Opponent, please. You're dead. All right, I make I make a lot of mana. Awaken the woods, to the woods. I wish you could just like click the same color for every trigger. You know what I mean? I really wish you could do that. If only there was a way they could implement that. You know, awaken is kind of expensive. Is it really? Oh, it's probably like commander bait. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I guess that's fair. All right, I have fifty five mana. 55 minus 2 is 53. I don't know. 42. I'm, I'm just picking a random number. I, I I don't know. I picked a random number. Still don't acknowledge Awaken as a real card. I mean, you can acknowledge it or you don't want to. I, I didn't ask. Yes, the tokens are for us for the Miss Ultimate. So it would have given my creatures plus 37 plus 37. Which I guess would have been cooler to kill. <laughs> Brother, I'm going to pay. I'll pay the two. I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay. I think I can spare a couple of mana. All right, Jameer. What are we playing against Jameer? I think I was doing a Braids last time. I was doing the two of Braids, the Titania... Was I cutting into the fire against them? I can't remember. I think I was. Is Virtue of Strength Commander Bait? I would guess it is. I'd be shocked if it wasn't, honestly. I think I did this against them the last time. How much is Virtue? Price. Virtue of Strength. Oh, that's not bad. Five bucks. It's a Mythic Rare, too. That's, yeah. So the only expensive card that I need... How much was Awaken? I know somebody put it in chat earlier. Awaken is 10. So Awaken's 10, and Resurgent Animus is like 20 or 25. Yeah, that is true. That's a good point. Anything that says double or triple, regardless of the rest of the text of the card, if it if it has the word double or triple in its text box, I just assume it's like $100. Yeah, and this is a 20. I mean, not only is Nissa, I would assume Nissa's good in Commander, but it's also just like a very good card and nobody opened that product because it was, you know, people hated that product. So it just never got opened. It feels, it's hard to explain Red Ferret, but it feels a lot cleaner. Like the mana's much smoother. You don't really, like you're never really looking for a third color. Where in the Teamer version, it was like kind of awkward where if you had like Deluge ill-timed analyst in your hand that you had to like fetch an island early but you don't really want to fetch an island early is it's kind of hard to explain but i don't i don't feel that in this version you know the man is much smoother and sure deluge is kind of a big loss right um but i haven't missed i haven't missed phalagi archaeologist at all and i haven't really found myself in a position where i've had like I, you know what I mean? Where I've had, like, too few uh, ways to mill cards. Because you would imagine that if you're cutting Falaji, you could say, oh, well, how are you milling enough cards for Analyst? But I haven't found, I haven't felt that yet. That's bad. Oh, right. I was cutting the Beanstalks last time because they're bad against Mastermind Shieldred. Okay, if we go to game three, I gotta cut these. How does this deck be negate? You just cast another spell the next turn. Like, your deck has 15 payoffs, you know? <clears throat> you just go again the next turn. Or you, you know, you find a spot where you can resolve Virtue, 
and you cast three big spells in the same turn because you have 40 mana, you know? It's like, it's not that hard. I've beat, this is the, I've beat Blue Black three times at this, my three wins are all against Blue Black, you know? So, like, just watch the games, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, is there a good card in green-red? Like, I know obviously we don't have Veil of Summer, but is there a Veil of Summer-esque card that's legal? Anything even rolled really close? I don't think there is. I know Destiny Spinner rotated out. Wouldn't he be good anyways? But something like that type of effect. I don't think there is. I guess you could play Thrun. You could sideboard Thrun, maybe. Shelly! Unfortunately, I only have five mana. It's not quite enough. Yeah, but I'm trying to stay green-red. Because if you wanted, if you were going to splash a third color, you could just splash blue for your own negates. Right? Chimmel? <laughs> Jimmy Chimmel? How do I survive? I'm not sure I can survive. play Lotus Curve instead of Nyssa. You wouldn't replace it. You would want to play it in addition, though. The nice thing about Nyssa is it helps find Analyst. So, like, you would definitely would not cut Nyssa entirely, for sure. But yeah, you would you would play Lotus Curve in some, in some number. I mean, I could just take 8, right? No, then I'd add a Mastermind. So I have to at least chump 1. This is going to sound crazy yet. Mm. I almost want to chump with this on keep of analysts. You went to your LGS trying to find an analyst from my EDH deck in the store and just laughed to me when I asked if they had any. It's an uncommon, right? I know my LGS didn't have any when I looked. Is it like a mythic uncommon? Short printed or something, maybe? <sighs> Do we just not play around them having a removal spell? I probably can't afford to, right? Yeah, I can't afford to. I need the Nissan play to win. Fuck! I guess we can try another one. Did not. Uh, Alright, game three. Okay, so let's try this plan where we cut the beanstalks. I think I like that. And then we keep... Man, I really just wish we had another removal spell for Shelly. I mean, I guess we can play Rage number four. Oh, off the Nissa trigger. Yeah, I guess I could have. You're right. Early concession, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it could, all, it could just find the Nissa, right? No, there was one left, I think. I think there was one left. Oh, there's two left. Burn down the house is nice. Does kill Shelly. Yeah. <clears throat> Explosion is the biggest loss. For sure, yeah. Explosion is very, very good at killing Shield Red. What does this do again? Why is this in my sideboard? Oh, it's just to exile the graveyard. No, this is standard. Maybe I can keep a couple of beanstalks. Maybe, like, one into the fire, two beanstalks. It is... Man, into the fire is nice against everything but Gix and Shelly and Preacher, I guess. It's good against all their ones and twos. Oh, it can bend a virtue in the mirror. Okay, true. Yeah. I would, You know what card I really want is Frenzy. <clears throat> I want Frenzy so bad. That card's really good against Shelly. All right, I'm going to play two Beanstalk, one Fire. I don't know if that's right. Yeah, so we're choosing to play other Sweepers than Brotherhood's Ends. I'm not sure if that's correct, but you have a lot more Forests than you do Mountains. That's the idea. Because you don't, like, ideally, you don't want to fetch two Red early on. Like, you'd much rather just fetch more Green. 
Is it good or bad that Disconnect Titania? Probably fine. I mean, it's not ideal if I if I need to hit Analyst, but it's probably okay. Hmm. Are we a jammer? I think I'm a jammer. It's so good to play at this turn if they don't have a removal spell, especially if we draw Nissa next turn. And if this baits the removal spell for the Nissa be top deck, I'm pretty happy with that. Sure. Kind of okay with that. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'll take one. Nissa. Not quite. Uh, I could kill Siren in case they play Gix, but honestly, if they tap out for Gix and I get to activate Analyst, I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, we'll just not do that. Soul Guide is, is standard legal, yeah. But most people play Hearse instead. What win percent would you consider a tier 1 deck in standard? I hate numbers. I'm not a numbers guy. I don't know, like, somewhere between 55 and 60, I guess? Something along those lines? That is unfortunate. It's okay, we can kill Liliana and get two lands back. It's not the end of the world. So, X is two, kill this... Get back these two. I'm just going to get two forests. We can maybe try to awaken for a million next turn. And by a million, I mean five. Which is, you know, basically a million. Another analyst would be sick. No! Do you think this little mole found the feed picks yet? That's what I want to know. We do them for two, Shababa. Two, uh, if you don't have the points, it's ten or two gifted. You're more of an ulti picks guy yourself. Why are they tanking on this duress? Isn't it just obvious Awaken? Okay. They have selected the card that costs a lot of mana when I have a lot of mana in play. Wise choice. Wise choice. <clears throat> Shababa! Shababa coming in with the two gifted subs. Thank you very much for the two gifted subs. Appreciate that, folks. If you didn't get one dodged in chat, it is as simple as that. Just throw a link to the deck in the chat, and I will happily take a look, Shababa. Am I missing Shigeki? Not really, no. I was really hoping they didn't have that. You would uh you would tell me if you had spell pierce, right? You would tell me if you had spell pierce. Uh is there a way? Okay, I can just do the deck like I can do the deck deck like that. Mm, I don't think they have spell pierce. I mean I can't play around it, right? I just have to do it for seven. Cool. I'll make it eight eight. I think I'm still saving the lane in case I draw Nissa. Yeah, I'm going to save the land. 70% <clears throat> over 80 games with Teamer. Okay, sick, sick, sick. Let's take a look. What are we working with here? I like the Chandra. So the one thing that I don't like about Titania main is you have a, a lower chance of hitting Analyst off of Nyssa because it's an elemental. Now, there are some matchups where you'd rather hit Titania, but in my estimation, like... The way that I look at this deck is in most game ones, you're almost always going to want to hit Analyst, right? When they don't have access to Graveyard Hate, it's always your best hit. So I don't think that I like introducing the element of... I guess, well, I guess if you cut a Nissa for the Titania, then you have the same number of hits, right? <clears throat> Life gain's good against Boros. Yeah, I mean, if you're willing to cut a Nissa, I don't know that I'm willing to cut a Nissa. 
personally speaking, I don't think you really need... I don't think you need... Um, what was I going to say? Are they dead? Four... Eight plus five is thirteen. No, they're not dead. Okay. No attacks. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, the splendid wreck. I don't think you need the splendid wreck. I would play a third deluge over the wreck. The one turtle's good. The one shigeki's good. I don't. How have you liked the iteration? I wasn't super high on it when I was playing it. I think that could maybe just be the third archaeologist. Yeah, I know. I'll pull it up on screen in a second. I was trying to play the game while I was doing that. <clears throat> yeah, so I would personally go probably cut the Galvanic for a third Falaji. I would cut the Titania for the fourth Nissa, the Splendid Wreck for the third Deluge, but I do like the one Chandra over the fourth l time. I think that's a good change. Um, I don't hate the additional sweepers. Like, you have two into the fires as well. Yeah, I know, but I feel like it's maybe more of a sideboard card. Does that make sense? Where, like, you don't need it in a lot of game one situations. So I think I'd maybe just sideboard the iteration, because I'd rather have... If you're going to play the teamer deck, like, if you're going to play blue, you should kind of lean into the fact that blue gives you more self mill with Falaji. So I think I like those changes. Galvanic for Falaji, Titania for Nyssa, Splendid for Deluge... Everything else looks pretty good. Yeah, and then the other issue is, like, the non-basic lands are... Wait, why can't I see the rest of the lands? I'm scrolling, but... Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so the issue here is, like, I don't really think you have <clears throat> enough fetch lands. <laughs> Sky Turtle is legal, yeah. How... Have you had any issues with, like, not having enough fetchables? Because I could definitely see running into... Where four, seven, you have 11 fetches, right? Which is two less than most lists. But I guess if you have one of these lands plus Echoing Deeps, then it's fine. So maybe the, maybe the difference is okay. I'm going to go back to this game for a second real quick. What am I going to do? So they have to have, um, like, there's no chance they don't have Tishana's Tidebinder for the Nissa, right? <laughs> I'm going to take my turn, and then I'll go back to the deck tech in a second. Make green. Get a forest. Make green. I might just keep plussing this. Uh. Yeah, I'm like 99% convinced they have a Tidebinder. Although, if they had Tidebinder, wouldn't they just Tidebinder the plus? Right? Pretty good chance they would have Tidebinder the plus if they had it. So maybe I'm just playing around it for no reason. Or they like really want me to minus the Nyssa. I don't know. Maybe I should have went for it that turn. <coughs> That might have been a good turn to go for it. Because, like, I'm probably going to be at the same spot next turn where I'm just probably going to go for it next turn, right? All right. So final thoughts here. Uh, I like the changes that I said earlier. Iteration for Falaji, Titania for Nyssa, Splendid for Deluge. I like those three changes. Um, I don't know if you even really need the Sokens on. I like Besaju and I like Odawara. And if you're going to cut the Titania, you probably want to cut the Argoth. So I might go cut Sokens on Argoth for 12th fetch, one more basic. Maybe, I don't know, the Deeps I could take or leave. The Deeps is kind of whatever. Yeah, Sokens on, I agree. Seems like probably the worst choice. Oh, they're Gixing me. Okay, sure. They just didn't cast it? They get a lot of mana. Uh, sideboard, Barrage, Turn the Earth, Hermit. I do like Hermit as like an anti-control kind of thing. Yeah, the sideboard seems mostly fine. I wouldn't play the Kellen. I just, I'm super low on this card. I'd play second for all back. Uh, and I kind of want third barrage over... You have a lot of sweepers. You have five main and four in the board. I think you can probably get away with trimming one of them. 
maybe the Brotherhood's End for the third barrage. I think I like that. Would they discard? I mean, I just have to go for it this turn, right? Like, it's not like it's getting any better. I guess they can Gix me again. Yeah, thanks again for the sub, Shabab. I appreciate it. I didn't play a ton with the Teamer deck. I, I think I've probably played, like, maybe 10 matches with it. So you, you honestly probably have more experience than I do. But those were kind of my thoughts when I played it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and thanks again for the gifteds. You know, the stream is not possible without the support of each and every one of you. So thank you very much. I'm very humble. Appreciate you all. Doom loves in the chat. I feel like I should make that emote Doom L. Yeah, I, I was pretty impressed when I played the Tamer version. I mean, I kind of like this version a little bit better, but it's close. What are they doing? Let them cook. I hope they just discard their hand and show me they don't have Tidebinder. Because then we have Mega Lethal. Why do they need 16 mana? What's that X black black spell that sometimes these Demir decks play? Oh, they kept a card in hand, huh? I wonder what that could be. X equals zero. Yeah, robbery. Uh, I guess I can analyst first. It just doesn't really matter, right? Whether I analyst first or not. I'm going to go for it. I guess I'm trying to, like, bait them to use the Tidebinder. <laughs> but, I mean, they're not going to, right? <clears throat> they only left up two. Well, they have Virtue in place, so they left up six mana. They have a Virtue. They have a Virtue in play. It's only non-basics? Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. You're right. <laughs> I thought it was any land. Okay. Well, I guess... Okay. I'm just wasting time then. Chat's right for a change. <clears throat> Rare Chat W. Oh! Oh, I forgot that that thing was an elemental. <laughs> I had no idea that was an elemental. I thought... Why is it not a titan? Is titan not a creature type? I guess if Titan was a creature type, then Primeval Titan would not be a giant, right? All the Titans are giants. Well, actually, um, actually, this Titan is an elemental. So, you know. Yeah, just BMing them at this point. All right, minus seven. Attack. I guess they can have one removal spell, but it's still not enough. Minus 50, by the way. All right. Four and one. Four and one. Lost to Mono Red. Maybe we don't have enough sweepers in this version. You know, the Mono Red, we did kind of get crushed by Mono Red, so. Folks who are watching this on YouTube, thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a great time. Uh, I hope you had a good time, as, as good of a time as I did. Casting some uh, very, very expensive spells was a great time. Uh, I think I like this version better than the Teamer version. I don't know yet. It's still kind of tough. I do like the smoother mana base. Um, one unfortunate thing is that losing... I think the biggest loss when you're cutting blue is honestly ill-timed explosion. Because... This deck is can be kind of weak to Shieldred, especially if you're cutting Deluge for Beanstalk as your card advantage card. Like, Beanstalk is smoother on the curve. Like, it, you can curve out and do some more stuff with Beanstalk because it's not a four-mana card, but it is much, much weaker against Shieldred and Fairy Mastermind, which you saw in a couple of those games. Um, so I would like to find something a little bit better than Into the Fire. Maybe Brotherhood's End could be good. Although I will say it is nice that Into the Fire does not kill Analyst or Nyssa. So, you know, that's something. That's a plus for Into the Fire for sure. 
Uh, I love, 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 love the Nissa Awaken the Woods stuff because not only does like so here's a couple of a couple of things. So Awaken the Woods gives you forests which trigger Nissa. That's huge. Um, it's just like another four mana ramp spell. You can just cast this for four mana, make two make two dudes, and then turn five you have seven mana to play Nissa or Titan or Virtue for that matter. So it like gives you more uh, like turn five. Virtue turn five seven mana draws without drawing analyst or Nissa, which is pretty huge. So that's I like that as well. Um, yeah, awaken the woods making forest for Nissas, very very good as well. And I think the most important thing is when you're playing awaken and world souls rage, you feel much less reliant on the graveyard. Whereas I think the teamer version without awaken the woods and just has rage. <clears throat> is probably a little bit weaker, especially in post-board games, to stuff like Hearse and, and things of that nature. So just the ability to go like, you know, your opponent plays turn two Hearse, you just go Awaken into Nyssa, and, you know, that's good enough. Um, yeah, that felt pretty good. I liked it a lot. The sideboard probably needs a little bit of work. Like, I'm not sure about this random Stone Brain. Uh, the Titania is fine against aggressive decks. I think you need more sweepers in the sideboard against red. Like, we only have three in the main and two in the board. I think we need at least two more in the 75 to have, like, to be competitive against red. Um, the Sentinel feels kind of random. That can probably go. Uh, also, this World Souls Rage should be in the main deck. I don't know what I'm cutting from the main. Um, but yeah, this there's no reason for the fourth Rage to be in the sideboard. I think that seemed kind of weird. Uh, everything else looked pretty good, though. like it a lot. More braids, maybe. Although, that's another good uh, thing to point out, is because we're less reliant on the graveyard with the Woods Nissa setup, we don't even need to play four braids, where the Teamer version kind of has to play more braids because it's more reliant on the graveyard. So, things to keep in mind. But, yeah, I like this deck a lot. You may consider trying to play it at my last RCQ this upcoming weekend. But, again, if you made it to the end of the video, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Everybody say, bye, YouTube! All right, bye, YouTube. <clears throat> Keck, bye. Is it Jover? Uh, I